stay a while and listen. So this is one of the most frequent questions that people have asked me. What sword would you recommend for home defense? And in this video, I'm not going to get into the nitty gritty of all the legal and moral issues that are involved. This is really just going to be for entertainment purposes, hypothetical situation. If somebody broke into your home and uh, was about to attack you and you could pick a sword, what would be best to defend yourself with? So personally, I say something like this, a gladius, because in your home, unless you're filthy rich and have a ginormous villa with huge rooms and wide doors and everything, you're gonna be dealing with confined spaces like this in a doorway. If you have to defend a doorway or a stairway or anything like that, then this will come in handy because for a longsword, you just don't have the space. And I don't mean a longsword as in the type, I mean in any kind of relatively long sword. For example, a sword like this would be pretty much impossible to use effectively when you're dealing with limited space. If I had to defend this doorway here, it's really not gonna happen. And by the way, yes, the shoulder is getting better. Still not great, but I can do this. So if I tried to cut, like there would be no way of doing that effectively. Well, there would be one way, but most cuts would just hit the door frame. What I could do is try this very straight cut. That might work, but it's very, very limiting. And thrusting would work, but I can't bring the arm back very far. The typical improvised weapon to grab for home defense is of course a baseball bat. I don't have one here, but generally I think they are short enough that you can maneuver to an extent. Uh, but again, it's it can be quite limiting depending on exactly where you're positioned. And also, if the attacker rushes you and closes in before you can get off a debilitating swing, then you're screwed because when they're standing right up against you toe to toe, there's really not much you can do with a baseball bat. So that's why my choice is the Gladius, because if you set yourself up in a doorway, you all you have to do is thrust. And if they get that close, like if they get into the door, if I pull the blade back as far as I can, this is still, the point is still behind my leading foot. So if somebody is standing right here, I can still use the blade. So that's quite an advantage. Also, if you happen to have a shield, of course a large shield like this is bulky, so that can be problematic in confined spaces, but less so than swinging a long object around. And also you can work around that. Like if you press it flat against your body, you can kind of snake in and uh, it's, it's not as limiting. And also, depending on the size of the shield, you may actually be able to lodge that in the doorway like I did right now. I'm not even, I don't even have to hold it with my hand now. I just lean against it and there it is. So even if somebody were to try to rush me, I can just push against it with pretty much my full body weight. And this would be very difficult to get through. At the same time, I can still thrust from above or below. And depending on how I position it, of course, can be more of a straight thrust or I want to get it higher so that I can just look over it. Thrust here. And with a short blade like this, I may also be able to cut. If I reach through the door frame, I may now be able to cut. It's not going to be very powerful because I can really only bring the arm into the cut. I can't really use my body, which is how you normally generate most power. But um, it may, might be an option. And also you could act actively advance and push them back with the shield, of course. Maybe push them down the stairs or something like that. Even if you only have a small buckler, this thing may look puny, but it can be quite effective. You can use that to push an incoming strike out of the way and then counter thrust. Or, of course, you can strike with it. And even if you have more space, this is still a pretty good weapon. For example, if somebody swings, say, a club at you, you could sidestep and cut against it to deflect it to the side and then either thrust or counter cut from there. Or if, say, the opponent's strike comes from this side, you can step back and let that slide off your blade, parry like that, and then 
cutter cut. So it's it's a pretty good versatile sword. Um, of course, if you're dealing with somebody who has a longer weapon, then it's not great if there is enough space for them. But otherwise, in confined spaces, this is definitely would be my choice. And it doesn't have to be a gladius. It could also be something like this, a Kinjal. This is a modern take on it. And uh, this, in fact, is a good recommendation because it's very cheap. You can get that for, I think it was $55. But in any case, I'm, I'm going to link that down below. So it's very affordable. It is functional. I have tested it. My only complaint was that the steel is a little softer than would be ideal. But for the price, you really can't complain. And also, if it's just something that you hopefully never have to use, and if you do, it's only going to be once, it's not going to be a problem. And uh, this I also like because it has the rubber grip. So yes, I hope you found this interesting, and thanks for watching.